So we have an application process for people to fill out so we can vet the people that we're going to help. The reason why we vet them is really for two reasons. One, because we don't have unlimited resources. We're, we're limited in terms of what we have. And, and that not only is financially, but it's also time. Um, but secondly, because we know the guys having been inside for 10 years, I feel like I've got a really good grasp on the guys who are going to come out and do really well. And then the guys who are just getting out because they're getting out and they're going to be turning around and going back. Yeah, so I'll give you a really good example. I just met with somebody um, about two weeks ago and he uh, echoed the sentiment of being really afraid and feeling safer in prison than out here. To the point where he said, I'd almost rather go back because he's been in prison for 12 years. The world, the city, the, the streets that he knew have completely changed. He doesn't know how to navigate because that's not what you're taught. And it's only been a, a short number of years comparatively to some other people who have gotten out after 30, 40 years. But it's difficult, especially when you're alone. And so there is a true sense of fear, not wanting to fail, but always looking over your shoulder going, gosh, what am I doing that might be wrong? Am I supposed to be doing this? Am I supposed to be here? Should I be talking to this person? Can I go look here for a job? You're always wondering and second guessing yourself. Most guys, especially if they've been in for longer periods of time, come out and there's nobody in their life. Um, they really are starting from scratch. Uh, starting from scratch with a job, with resources, with things to kind of survive this world. That's easier. It's hard, but it's easier than starting fresh, starting from scratch with relationships. Because the question is, who are those people you strike up the relationships with? And so for those people, it's a much harder uh, road to travel. You've got to go find stuff to survive, right? You've got to go find some clothes. You've got to go find um, some food. You've got to find a place to live if you don't already have a place. You've got to find some place that will get you bus tokens so you can get from point A to point B. Uh, and then you've got to go find a job. And so th that's just all within the first several days because if you don't find a job, then parole's gonna be on you. If you don't have a place to go, just put your head down at night, then obviously that's an issue. Um, you gotta find all of the staples that most people take for granted. I would say it is very, very likely that that person will go back to what they know, which is typically what got them into prison anyway. And the recidivism rate, uh, rate continues to stay high. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, there's no other way to sugarcoat that. There's no other way to put additional layers on that. The reality is if guys aren't supported and helped uh, with tangible things when they come out of the prison, chances of them going back to prison are really, really high. Remerge is one of those places, right? It's a great clearinghouse for a lot of information that people could take advantage of. But having that resource is a tremendous thing because again, it provides hope. And ultimately that's what we're trying to provide. We want to provide hope for guys to say, hey, you can do this. Look at us that have done it. And we want to share with you, walk alongside of you and give you the encouragement so that you can do it as well.